PC Phil here for the Dragon Bloggers. And here I'm excited to showcase for you this Cam Rui Mini PC. This is the retail box and packaging. This model number is the GK3 Plus version. It comes in a silver case with eight gigs of RAM and a 256 gigabyte M.2 hard drive. Let's get into this box. Now here's everything that comes with the package. It comes with a user's guide and manual to get you up and running. It comes with a HDMI cable, two prong outlet and barrel connector to power the computer. There is a Visa mountable adapter. So you can attach this to the back of a big screen TV or a monitor to hide it and also comes with the included screws and also comes with four additional screws to install a second hard drive in the computer itself. So this is the mini PC itself. It's a very nice silver case. This does have the Alder Lake N97 processor in it that has four cores and four threads that can run up to 3.6 gigahertz. As we look around the case, we have a power light right here. And on the side, we have our power button there. We have two USB 3.0 ports and one USB 2.0 port. Coming around the back, we have our barrel connector power port there. We have another USB 2.0 port there. A pair of HDMI ports that are capable of producing 4K content at 60 hertz. We have a one gigabyte LAN port to connect to your network or internet. We have the microphone and headphone jack right there. And we have a Kensington lock right here. This PC also has Bluetooth 4.2 technology inside of it, and also Wi-Fi 5 connectivity inside for wireless connection. You don't need to have a network wire close by to connect to the internet. Right here, this is the toggle switch to open up the case, and there is a security screw pre-installed to prevent any tampering. And over here, we have the VGA 15 pin video adapter, which makes this computer able to have three monitors attached to it. It's a very nice case, has very nice ventilation. It's a nice looking copper chrome around the edge there and the Cam Rui Lug One branding on the top. And then on the bottom, you have four rubber feet to keep it stable on your desk. There's a nice cooling fan underneath these fins here for dissipating heat. And then you have your two wall mount holes for putting the bracket right on there and attaching it to the back of a monitor if you wish. Let me show you how easy it is to upgrade this PC. I'll simply remove this security screw right here. And don't lose that screw so you can put it back. So then you just simply slide this little toggle switch over and your case opens up very simply like that. And so here we have an open slot for an additional two and a half inch hard drive or solid state hard drive, like one of these. You could simply just plop this in here, attach it to the included SATA cable right there. And since it comes with the included four extra screws, they would go into the sides of the drive and into the sides of the drive bay there. And then we can take this drive bay out and we can simply take out this two and a half inch drive bay, put that to the side. This is where you can upgrade your M.2 SATA hard drive. There's one screw right there to remove that. And then your eight gigabyte of DDR4 RAM is right here. You can simply just pull this out. It comes with the eight gigs. You can double that up to 16. As for adding a second hard drive, you can go up to two terabytes of additional storage space. And then we can just put this right back together real quick. We put our cover back on, line up the tabs. Close that up so it's nice and flush. And then we'll put our security screw back in the hole there. Make sure you take note of which screw comes out of the security hole because it is different from the other screws. And so now that's secure and it can't be opened up. Let's get this plugged in and see how well it works. So here I've gone ahead and attached the Camuri Mini PC to two monitors, wireless keyboard, wireless mouse, internet connection, and just show you my connections here. So I've got my ethernet connection there for my internet. I'm utilizing my two HDMI ports for each monitor. I'm using one of the USB-A ports to power one monitor and the other USB-A port there powering the other monitor. And I got my dongles for my mouse and my keyboard. And obviously my power adapter is plugged into my kilowatt wattage meter to see how much power this would actually pull since it's a mini PC. So let's go ahead and turn it on. You can see the blue light has illuminated and my monitors are powered up. We're already starting to boot up. We have Windows 11 pre-installed on the mini PC. And right now we're only pulling about between 15 and 20 watts. So the wattage is very low for this mini PC monitors that are powering it as well. So this is a nice little mobile setup in case you don't have very much desk space. This is a perfect little PC. Or like I said, this can be set up on a to the back of a TV as well. Use it as a multimedia PC to play movies or music on a bigger screen TV or in a surround sound system. I'm going to run through the setup really quick here and uh, show you how well this thing works. We'll be right back. So I've gone ahead and finished setting up this new PC. It comes with Windows 11 Home Edition already pre-installed. I ran all the updates on it 
and just showing you some of the specs and whatnot and what this machine can do. So you can see here we have the 256 gigabyte C drive and we have our brand new version of Windows 11 with all the latest updates. You got your four core CPU with the four threads and you got your eight gigabytes of RAM, got your gigabit ethernet adapter, Intel graphics GPU also with four gigabytes of shared memory in that. This machine is quite the workhorse for being so small. So this could be a perfect home office computer or a second computer. So you can have three screens. I only have two, but there is the ability to have a third monitor attached to this, this little mini PC. So right now I'm just watching one of my other video reviews and I could have another application on this screen. And then I could have a third screen and having the Bluetooth capability and Wi-Fi capability. I could be totally wireless with this machine and and looking at my power meter, we're only averaging about 25 watts with the two monitors being attached to this mini PC. And we're watching a full screen video and I could have another website or another application on the other monitor as well. Having the ability to attach more peripherals to the mini PC, the expandability is absolutely amazing. Being able to add more storage very easily, putting in another 2.5 inch either solid state or rotary hard drive in here for more storage. This PC itself is very aesthetically pleasing as well. I would definitely recommend having one of these, like I said, if you're tight on space or if you want to hide it behind a TV. This mini PC is brought to you by Cam Rui. I hope this video was helpful for you and we'll see you on the next one.